small, small question of CAC to LTV, which kind of is a metric that defines so much yeah. of founders' decks in our yeah. industry. Um, yeah. Why do you think it's a flawed metric, my friend? Yeah, so there's two primary flaws with it. I think one is just this notion of lifetime, <laughs> which is the L and LTV. Like early in a company's journey, it's rare to have a real idea of what a reasonable customer lifetime is. Like if you're two years in, like how are you going to say you have a five-year lifetime? Like it's really, you know, um, so that that's obviously flawed. And then it's also, you know, too coarse. So I think many companies will look at this on a blended basis and disregard that there's actually a bunch of variance in customer quality by channel, keyword, audience, um, et cetera. And so the better method, which I was kind of getting at, was payback period, which removes the notion of lifetime, but also it could be calculated on a more granular level. And so, you know, paybacks, the however months of growth margin, it, it cost to pay back the initial incremental CPA. You want to make sure you're calculating this paid over paid. So use paid CAC, not blended CAC. And then with scale, you could get to more granularity. So not only looking at it on a channel level, but actually a keyword level. So at Stitch Fix, you know, you should have different basically CAC thresholds for someone who's bidding on uh, or someone who's actually searching for, you know, high price dresses versus kind of discount shoes, right? That's, that's the important thing. You know, one caveat on all this stuff, I think, and I'll, I'll go back to Bill Gurley was on our board at Stitch Fix. And I remember he, he once wrote an article people should read called the, the Dangerous Seduction of the LTV Formula. I remember I first learned about this the night before presenting at my first board meeting there, uh, where I was presenting like our new paid acquisition strategy as the guy that was, came in to like scale up our, our ad budget. Um, and I was just terrified, but he's right. Like the point, one of the important points he made there is this is a tool and not a strategy. I think too many performance marketers use this formula as a way to justify more budget and so many people out there are like competing on the size of budgets that they manage. And there's these weird kind of power dynamics and stuff. Like I think at a certain point, having a deeper understanding of user psychology and being great at creative provides more of an edge than um, some of this kind of like mechanical kind of LTV CAC op optimization. So anyway, I made a few different points there, but I think the, the primary flaws, again, I just think this notion of lifetime is the main one, but also like the granularity, you're able to get at that better if you, if you have a payback kind of framework.